Hello everyone, this is Tara Queen Jamila. I am here to do the May 2016 love reading for the Capricorn. Um, I'm doing a six card spread. We're gonna look at your subconscious, um, your sexual um, chemistry with this person, your emotional connection, um, any outside influences. Um, is this person going to be long term? And then also you'll have a final outcome card for me. Um, make sure that you subscribe for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And also if you want a more personalized reading, go to my website. I do readings full time. All right, give me a second. And this may not makes sense to every single person out there but okay <clears throat> okay so card number one is the nine of coins So Capricorn, what's going on right now is that, um, well, if you're involved with someone, it seems as though, you know, there's something where you're coming to some um, end because it is a nine. Doesn't mean the relationship is ending. It just means that you're almost at completion or something when it comes to the money. I think this person um, for the Capricorn that's going to come in mm, let me think I think this person is going to come in feeling as though they've accomplished something and they you know now they want to settle down is what I'm seeing this person so I'm definitely seeing someone come in with this nine of, of pentacles. Um, the sex, sexual chemistry though, Capricorn, is the four of cups. What this means is unhappiness in spite of the, your blessings. So I think if you're single, you know, um, probably, I would say that it would probably indicate that there would be some time needed. So there's going to be some issues with appreciating the sex. So Capricorns, I want you to, um, if you're single, you know, you may want to just be smart about who you deal with. And if you're involved with someone, the Four of Cups is saying to appreciate them, okay? As far as the sexual chemistry, I mean, by it being a cup, you know, I can definitely see that. But I just still feel as though, you know, there's something else that's going on that has nothing to do, you know, with the partner. That's not the best card. Let's look at the emotional connection. There's a judgment card, which is a major arcana. So it seems like either you, Capricorn, or your partner jumps to conclusions too fast to get this judgment card. So the judgment card is coming out to saying, don't make decisions too fast, or you are making decisions too fast based upon your emotions. So the emotional connection um, you know, it could be there at first either way, but you just want to make sure that, you know, you don't jump to any conclusions about anything at this point. And that's if you're involved with someone or, or if you're not. Now, the um, external influence card is the Ace of Wands. So there's, I can sense there's a, a child in the ether. Um, especially with the Ace of Wands, I get the sense that if you're already involved with someone, they're, you know, 
you're probably trying to get pregnant and if you're not it looks like that's what's gonna happen either that or just the birth of something this the ace of wands I'm sorry uh, represents you know creation in life um, is it long term you got the temperance so the answer is yes Um, what I'm sensing is probably some uh, twin flame or maybe some past life stuff that's going to require patience. If you want it to go long term, you just have to be patient is what Temperance is saying. Your final card is the Four of Wands, which indicates some sort of marriage. So for those of you that are already involved, um, you're going to either get engaged or you're going to be planning your wedding in May. Um, for those of you that are single, um, you're going to meet somebody that you will consider marrying. Um, that's going to do it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, go to my website if you want a personalized reading. And make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.